Hey folks, RPG day, day 20, oh shoot, what is today? 27, there we go. And don't take the question, but I've got to double check the date. What are your essential tools for good game playing? For me, it's having a good mind, a good intelligence, a good sense of humor. Being able to uh, understand, to be able to relate, to be able to explain. Those are my essential tools. Because, you know, RPGs are a social game. You need to be able to interact with other human beings. You need to be able to help them immerse themselves in the game. You need to be able to, as I heard, oh shoot. It was one of the other RPG a days things, I believe. The gentleman said that in order to make believe, you must believe. And that just nailed me. You know, I never thought of it that way, but th that's one of those truths of RPGs. Um, and and it's, it's quite similar to stuff we do in the SCA. Well, I used to do in the SCA. I haven't done anything there for like five years now. But anyway. You know, you rule because they believe. You know, that's how the society runs runs their, their political structure, for lack of a better word. But anyway, back to gaming. Those are the essential tools. I actually ran at Gen Con for Call of Cthulhu because, well, <laughs> that's my original thought. <laughs> at Gen Con, I ran my first Call of Cthulhu game, uh, The Necropolis. And uh, after the introduction... What happens is the entire party is is locked inside the tomb, complete darkness, you know, that kind of thing. And so there's no real need for minis. And I'm a tactical kind of guy. I love minis. I love handouts. I love structures and, you know, trees and rocks and all of the fun things you can throw out there to help bring, uh, most time it's combat, bring the combat to life, right? But this was the first time I did a completely theater of the mind. Um, so they've got these people who are suddenly slammed into darkness and, you know, I, I, I slam the table, bam, you're in complete darkness. You're all alone. You can't see, you can't breathe. Dust is in your nostrils and in your mouth. You can't hear anything because it's ringing from the noise. You are all alone. Everybody makes a sandy roll, right? But anyway, through that entire game, we're all just looking at each other. And uh, they've got candles for light, and they decide to be, not stingy, um, frugal with the candles. So they only light one initially, and so I'm standing there, I'm not standing, I'm sitting at the table with them. I'm going, okay, they're all sitting around this candle. Because <laughs> candles only give out light, you know, so far to be able to see things. But, you know, that's part of the fun is, is getting, as a GM, that's the greatest part of fun, is getting the players to react to your world, to react to your situations, to believe that what they're hearing is real. So the most essential tool in my little box of tools is my imagination, my ability to communicate, my ability to describe, my ability to help the players get immersed. But like I say, I am a Tesco kind of guy. I love minis. I use a grid, a hex grid, a hex grid. Um, because, you know, we run a three-dimensional, well, not three-dimensional, but, you know, 360 degrees. Anyway, so that's, that's my answer. My most essential tool is what I have up here. Good gaming, guys. Out.